munchkin. Fly right. Jeepers Creepers. Dancing Dingledorfs. Our owner really doesn't appreciate the genius he has in retouchers. So I'm, I'm going to try to lift morale around here by changing him into a statue. What you want to do is grab your polygon lasso tool, which is your third tool down, and start tracing the head. Now you can switch to your regular lasso tool by holding option down. And when you let go, it will then become your polygon tool again. The reason I'm using the polygon tool is because since I am making a statue, I want that hard straight line. After my selection is done, hit Command J to create a new layer of just my selection. And then File Edit Desaturate, go back to the face, create a layer in between, hit Edit, Fill with White. Now I want to grab a, a stone texture. I'm just basically going to grab my arrow tool and throw it back on top of my image. Hit Command T to transform it to cover up the whole background. And then go back to my top image, click Command to select it, then go down, make a mask uh, on it, and then bring it back up to the top layer. Hit Multiply. And then I'm going to use exposures to kind of bring out the, uh, the face. Dark areas, real dark areas like the suit and the eyes, I'm going to have to go back into these areas. I'm using the clone stamp to do it. You could use uh, your, your brush and work with whites and grays to do the same thing. So I'm just going back through, filling in any dark area that doesn't feel like it's real statue kind of esque. Now I'm going to feather my selection. I'm going to contract it by two and feather it by two. And then I'm going to go up to my mask, fill it with black so that feather then applies to the mask. And then I want to take my mask and pull it down on top of my face so everything has a soft edge and doesn't re really look cut out. And there you have it. George turned to stone. I think we'll put them out in the garden. Hmm, maybe behind a tree. We can put a gnome hat on them too.